Courtney Burton was winning this sixth round. He was clearly winning it. There, he was coming inside, maybe switching, and he got caught by a right uppercut. That was the first punch. He still would have won the round. And the left hook, in combination, coming off the right uppercut, the left hook drops Courtney Burton. See it again. Looks like he caught him high on the tempo. At least the ninth knockdown of Burton's career. Huge, huge swing, because that was Burton's round. Now Reyes wins it 10-8, I'm sure, on all three cards. So where's your card, Steve? 58-55 for Reyes. I would have had to fight even. Instead, I have Reyes ahead three. Think you have it a little closer? I have it closer. Yeah. I thought Burton's done more in this fight, but it's academic how we feel about it. Interesting to see how the viewers watching Showbox have this one halfway home if it goes the distance. And Burton's had to climb off the canvas, saved by the bell there. It's not as if he was stunned. He's coming back as if it didn't happen. Being the aggressor, doesn't look at all phased by what happened, but it was critical, as you mentioned, Steve, on the cards. Well, what I'm looking for early in this round is whether Reyes changes his style. Oh, right hand there was perfect from Reyes. He avoided a shot from Burton and countered beautifully. And now with the uppercut as he begins to find a range big time. Reyes may not, have to, may not have to change his game. His counter punching looks better this round than it did up to this point in the fight. Absolutely. Burton coming forward, but unable to put anything together as Reyes pokes a jab at him to stop that momentum. Reyes is in the white. He's, shouldn't say taken over this fight, but taken back command or taken command for the first time. To the extent that he's got Courtney Burton worried. Burton's been down, as you said, multiple times in his career. And it'll bring out a sense of urgency, perhaps, in him knowing, as we said, in a very real sense, this is it. Well, we know Courtney Burton has heart. We showed that in the elder fight. But, you know, this ring has bad memories for him. He got stopped in a brutal beating in that 12th round of that elder fight, right here at Chumash. Now he's fighting another younger guy who puts him on the canvas. He may hesitate before he commits too much now. And he is, he's hesitating. Burton's not throwing any punches this round. Really unable to get off. Unwilling to get off because he doesn't want to get counterpunched. So Reyes very composed here. He's on in the corner. In his own corner, battling off the ropes with a big right hand. And now sticking that jab into the left-handed Burton. So Burton taking punches rather than giving. Swelling around both eyes of Burton right now. Right. Reyes just picking his spots. This is how he wanted this fight to go. From the you know, control range, Steve, keeping it at a distance and outbox Burton. Well, and, and oh, nice right hand. Yeah, he's, he's picking apart Burton. If it's a boxing match and Burton isn't putting on any real pressure, Reyes will pick him apart. Box him all night long. Good jab from Reyes as he continues to move left, move left. Burton coming Stop. at him, but looking punch. sloppy Step and looking away. tired. Stop at the bell. Stop. about it. All right. You know what you're doing wrong. You're doing that pulling up shit with your hands down. You can't do that. You know you can't do that. All right? Stop doing it. Okay? How's he doing? Oh, he's on. He's on. He's on. He's a little puffy under that eye. No, huh? we're okay. No big deal. Right. No big you better than me. Yeah. Um, look here. You got to stay low. Get into that body. He don't like that body. Okay? Quit standing up. Quit pulling back. Quit, quit switching, you know what I mean? Stay right-handed, stay to his body. Action from round seven. When Reyes lands his shots now, look how awkward they make Burton look because he's bent over, he's getting hit flush, and he doesn't seem to have the legs to be able to just spring right back. It's one of the reasons I think he got knocked down right. too. His legs right. sort of got tangled. He looked very off balance, Steve. Good observation. So Burton's been down once in this fight, and it could be critical if it goes to the cards. Reyes with a nice, solid seventh round. Steady, 
if not spectacular. And Steve, I don't think Reyes is the kind of guy who's worried about it. absolutely being just shooting the lights out in terms of winning the crowd that way. He wants to win this fight. Yeah, he is what he is, and he seems to understand what he is, which is a counter puncher. He's not going to apply too much pressure. Burton to the body. Well, that was, that was good advice by Malcolm Garrett. Stay right-handed, go to the body. But he can't go to the body from too far away, because if he does, great counter-punching opportunity to Reyes. That chin is in the air, and Garrett again wants uh, Burton to stay low and stay protected. He hasn't rolled under many shots lately. He's coming forward again. Reyes sticking that jab, moving, setting up when he wants. Swelling under the right eye of Burton could become a problem, although Malcolm Garrett in the corner did use the end swell. You want to knock out power late? Not, not much from these guys. They both won and lost in long fights, but if anything, hey, Burton's been stopped twice late in the 11th and 12th. That's dangerous for him, dangerous territory. So Burton again said he oh as he eats a right hand. Another big right hand clubbing from Reyes as he's fighting under control, but really opening up right now. He's going for it. And now it's Southpaw. Seems to be the natural thing that Courtney Burton reverts to every time he, he gets his world rocked to any extent. He doesn't seem to have much defense right now. When Reyes jabs, when Reyes throws a right, there's very little reaction, very little reflex Stop, reaction right, from Burton. Step away from each other. Doesn't bode well. Right so, now, Nick, I think he's lucky that Reyes isn't a naturally aggressive fighter. Right, because as you said, content to counter a lot, but I don't see Burton doing anything to make the kind of play. He's not firing first. He's just walking in there, not throwing anything. They're probing to the chest. Here comes Reyes. Trying the combination in return. Burton should be punching. He tries a lunging shot. Nice right hand for Burton. Uh, Burton absorbs a barrage of blows, and Jack Reese takes both fighters. Stay, stay down. Stay it's down. over. And they stay down. Him, stay down. Stay down. Stay right there, Courtney. You got hit with some shots while you were reeling back, bro. You got hit with... No, you guys were crunched up, man. You were right on the ropes, and he hit you with a couple of good ones, and you fell into it. Dude, you, you hit the ropes and fell onto him. You, your hands were dropping, you were getting hit. Get a stool. Get a stool for him. Stay right here, Courtney. Can you get your butt right there? All right. Yeah. All right. There were five seconds to go in that round, Steve. Wow. And you know what? I think that was a great call by the referee, Jack Reese. There might have been a, a, a temptation there to let it go because all three guys went down, and maybe there was a little confusion in the referee's mind as to why they all went down, but clearly it was a knockdown scored by Reyes. In his follow-through, he went down as well. Yeah, Good Reece. call. Burton was hurt. Yeah, Jack Reese, the referee, taking control of this fight and saving Burton perhaps from himself. You saw his face, the mask of a beaten fighter, perhaps for the last time in his career. And here we see Reyes as he turned on the Jets here. Here comes the offense, Steve. Yeah, Burton just wasn't re reacting well. Right there. A right and the jab just sent him back. No defense whatsoever. He, he was defenseless. His hands were down when he went to the ropes and, there. And bounced off the ropes, you're right. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think there's any doubt about this stoppage. Look, look at Reyes. Does he have the eyes of, of an eagle there or what? He knows the end is there. A sudden sensational ending for Rolando Reyes. Brutal stuff, Nick. It's not all that different from what Ebo Elder did to Burton in the 12th round when Burton was defenseless. 
One knockdown too many for Courtney Burton, and he definitely has to think about uh, what he wants to do because he doesn't seem to have the strength anymore or the legs to go 12 hard rounds in this lightweight division. Seriously, he is on a stool right now. He's got his legs under him once again. But Redondo Reyes turn the lights off in a hurry as we go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, 55 seconds in round number nine. He is the winner by way of knockout and the new NABO lightweight champion, Rolando El Pochito. Excuse us for one minute. One second, please. Right, there you go. Big win for Rolando Reyes. You can't lift it. Yeah. So Rolando Reyes with clearly biggest win of his career. And perhaps the last time we'll see Courtney Burton in the ring as we see Rolando Reyes. California crowd loves him here. It was maybe melodramatic what he told us yesterday, Steve. This is what I've been waiting for all my life. Well, he got it done. Uh, he's looked great. Good job. Funny how boxing works. We're going to take one more look at the stoppage, Nick, and the end of one guy's career, at least. Most likely the end for Burton. The, the end of him as a serious lightweight is the beginning of Reyes's career as a lightweight contender. And you know, they talk about third man in the ring not being, well, certainly being invisible at times. Jack Reese was a prominent player here as he just kept Courtney, Courtney Burton down on the canvas. Forget about clock. It really was irrelevant whether there was five seconds or 50 seconds left, I would think, Steve. The point was, Courtney Burton was through. Yeah, that's it. And now we see Rolando Reyes as he'll march on. Biggest, well, most important win of his career. Certainly the biggest name on his belt right now. And interesting, Steve, you know, just three short months ago, we were looking at him and saying, well, here's a guy who hit a rough streak, and where is he really going? And he went up and wait to fight a guy who we've seen right now, Antonio Ojeda, who is nothing, maybe more than a club fighter, right. and all of a sudden got aggressive, but still coming in here, Reyes, with question marks, hey, how good legitimately is he? How bad was Courtney Burton? I don't think bad at all. Shop-worn a little bit around the edges, but he certainly came to fight and had his moments. But Reyes impressed me by just picking his spots, biding his time, and then, as you said, threading the needle and closing the show. Well, what this does ensure is that Reyes will have more big fights in the lightweight division, whether he gets a title fight or not this year or early in 06. Either way, great win for him and great matchmaking by his team. I give Cameron Duncan a lot of credit. A lot of people, myself included, said if Courtney Burton were right, you have to make him a favorite to beat Rolando Reyes. Well, Courtney Burton wasn't right because he wasn't able to fight 12 hard rounds. The fact that he got stopped by Reyes, who's not a huge puncher, does not bode well for him for his future. Good matchmaking, good timing for this right. fight for Reyes. And it's the reason we brought both fighters back. We wanted answers. We got them tonight.